Welcome, everyone. I'm here today with Robert. What are we doing today? Guys, we got something really exciting in store for us. Stop for this car. What do you got in your hand? Oh, this? Nothing much. Just the laser disc from Doc Hollywood. This guy's as big of a nerd as I am when it comes right. to Michael J. Fox. So follow us two nerds into Grady, South Carolina. This is the exact spot at the beginning of the movie where Michael J. Fox is stuck in traffic. Traffic is backed up all the way down there. He actually pulls off of the road and ends up going that way. Through the barricades. Just do you want to sing the theme song? Nobody I'd ra- Watch out for the cows! Oh, 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 there's, there's cows! cows there's cows! cows. There's cows! So right here is where he hit- Judge's house. Judge who? Judge Evans. Judge Evans. And we thought that was really interesting because, because this is Evanston. He says he's from L.A. You send me a bill there. If you want, we can handle it with plastic. I'm not really from L.A. I'm just on my way to... You lucky I just happen to be passing through. What's in the trunk? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry about what happened, but it was an accident, okay? It was nobody's fault. Get me to a telephone. I'll call a Porsche mechanic in the next big city. I'll get my car fixed. I'll be on my way, and, and you can go back to doing, you know, whatever it is you do. And you actually have a dog just like in the movie. Yep. Hey, come on, get out. Get, get away from there. Come. Oh, man, I'm thirsty. What do yeah. you got? Here, try There's that. not much left in there, just a sip. Oh, man, that's tart. All right, I'll be over here. Hey, save me some coffee, you savage. Listen, you, you better let me handle this one alone, all right? Check out the three stairs and the door up there that he ran down from. I'm going to sneak up here to the cabin now and show you what the stairs look like. These are the stairs right here that Michael J. Fox ran down from after he read the family their mail. The cabin is in quite disarray now compared to what it used to look like in the movie. Well, couldn't get inside, but this is where Michael J. Fox read the mail to the people who couldn't read. The ambulance would have been right over there where Robert is. Parked. Michael J. Fox came running right back out of there, got back in the ambulance, and drove off. Tough one. Yeah, what about Ellen in the Pakistan? The dead snake. The road behind me here is where Michael J. Fox and the guy who played the mayor drove in when he was giving him the tour of the small town of Grady. I don't let the signs of prosperity and urban sprawl here in downtown scare you. We're still the same sleepy little paradise that many big city streets recommend for their patients with nervous disorders. It's the common effect of Grady's natural ozone. So you can see the whole downtown area. It basically looks exactly like it did in the movie. Right over in this area here is basically where the statue would have been. Right here holding the squash. In fact, there's a world-class mental hospital just up the road with it. That's a comforting thought. Ben Stone, you like coffee? You like coffee? We won't go in here. If you go over here to this way, there was a makeshift building they built here specifically for the movie, which is where the diner was. They tore it down after the movie was finished and left. And immediately to the right is where Michael J. Fox got his car fixed. Hey. Guten Abend, Herr Doktor. Uh, yeah. Right. Guten Abend, Herr Doktor. Uh, yeah. Right. Looks like they well, still got the voice box on there where he was doing the talking thing. Yeah, Remember right. this thing? Oh. Wait, 
Did you say you went to church at this hour? <laughs> Just want to check on my car. Oh, my yeah. baby, Melvin. Yeah. I'm sorry, we're doing lines from the. Wow, so yeah, they had like a, they built like a little wall there. Yeah. Yeah, it was a wall. Oh, and that's the same office. Yeah. So the car would have been right here. Yeah. And you killed my car. I resent that. That car was my life, Melvin. That car was my baby. That's the window that he broke right there. Yeah. Check that out. Right through that door, Michael J. Fox would have walked. They would have discussed the part. Melvin would have been leaning back with his feet up on the desk. I don't need a car. I'm moving to Los Angeles. What do I need a car for? So if you look to your left there, Robert, see that open sign? That was actually used in the shot where Michael J. Fox is walking the pig. Right. Nice pig there, Doc. Thank you. Definitely pig, Doc. Thank stuff. you very much. Appreciate it. Nice pig, Doc. Thank nice you. Nice pig, Doc. The banner would have been right across here, the Squash Festival banner parade. The mayor would have been on a ladder right here. Ben Stone. Hey. I think I just took away your last reason to go to California. Yeah, this is where uh, Julie Warner and uh, Bridget Fonda would eat lunch. Mine, half you want half of mine, half of yours? You want, you want to do that? There you go. How do you feel about that? Half and half. You got something? Her turn, stand up and turn around. Uh, yeah, turn around. Turn around. You got a you got a sweet bug right there. You got a you got a Doc Hollywood bug. Uh, uh, This would have been the butcher shop here. The butcher's shine was right up here. There's the front, and here comes Michael J. Fox. Ah, Mr. Crocker, uh, where's my pig? You know, Jasmine, my pig is, uh, she's still alive. Oh, yeah. ah. Had the little discussion back and forth. Those doors were open. Talking about the pig. He wanted his pig back. What was the pig's name? Trivia question. He's going for his iPhone. He's going to Google it. Come on, what's, his pig? This. what's the pig's name? I should know this. <laughs> Howdy. Over here is the Holy Grail of Doc Hollywood, the hospital. That's the original yeah, sign. I just pulled it out so you guys can get it. That's the original sign that was hanging out front. This is the sign. About this far away from those doors, they put up a false door frame oh. and put up two double doors to give you the to give you the feeling yeah. that it was another hundred feet. walking down those stairs and then yeah. walks through here right. and that's where he meets Lou back in there. Right. All right. <laughs> okay, let, let, let's get something straight right now, okay? I got eight years of higher education and you insist on clocking me in and out like I'm some kind of factory worker? Well, no! And oh, no, this is where I draw the line. As an added bonus, the local shop owner gave us this gift, a picture he took in 1990. Dad, what is it? I took the picture. What is no. It? I did. Unfortunately, I can't show you the picture that's in here. He asked out of respect for him that we don't show it on the internet. It's a collect call from Dr. Benjamin Stone. Stone. No, I just, there was a, 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 a medical emergency and, and, uh, they, they don't have a doctor, so I, of course, I volunteered my services, and I'll need to stay until the situation stabilizes. 
Yeah, medically. Well, Ben Stone, you have five minutes to say goodbye to Shangri-La. There was tons of people here waiting for him? That's right. Back to the interstate, Ben Stone, huh? Back to the interstate. Back to the interstate, Ben Stone. Back to the interstate, Ben Stone, huh? Back to the interstate. Beverly Hills, the most beautiful women in the world, plastic surgery. What are those three things they have in common? Me in less than a week. What you got there? Yeah, flowers. Did you just pick those? Uh, yeah. Those are illegal to pick here. Yeah. All right, sorry. We've now arrived in McIntosh, Florida, and we actually just met the former mayor back there, way back there, walking his dog. And we learned a little tidbit of info right here where we're walking, you might recognize. Hey there, Ben Stone. Hey, how are you? Been looking for you. What a great day. Boy, this is it. The pinnacle of existence. The grandeur of Grady. Sap of life. Couldn't be happier if I was twins. Some kids playing over there. They're excited about Doc Hollywood filming locations. And they should be excited because right here is where the swing was hanging down. They were all sitting around. I haven't seen this many stars in a long time. The couple would have been right against that tree, kissing and smooching. Michael J. Fox would have walked right down here, right past those doors, and right yeah. into there where the movie was being played on the wall. Let's okay. go inside there and check it out. Basically, Michael J. Fox would have come walking through here and leaned against that right there, and they had the movie projected. They had the movie projected against this wall. Okay, and then over here would have been where the piano was being played. So the real question is, whatever happened to the lake and the cabin and the famous scene where she came out of the water? Check out this old remnant picnic table. And there's a road that looks very similar to how it does in the movie. If you look at the tree line in the movie, it's the exact same side of tree line. And the water was way up. Yeah. You know, he's walking with the pig. They had the explosives out there. Hey, Mr. McClary! <laughs> Be careful you don't get another hook in your finger! <laughs> don't worry, Doc! <laughs> We're not using hooks today! This almost looks like the tree there. And the cabin might have actually been right over there because right immediately to the right was a huge tree. The cabin could have been built right in there. And then there's our shot. So there you have it, the Doc Hollywood filming locations. What do you guys think of Robert? If you like him, leave a thumbs up and leave some comments down below. Do it. Oh man, my arm. Feel my arm. Yeah, I don't have time to feel your arm. Hey, will somebody feel his arm? Yeah, we hear you. Do you think there's that much interest in a video? What do you do with your video? Tell me how many takes on it you have. Okay. It'll, it'll get a lot of hits. You it'll, think? Yep, absolutely. How many? Should be in the 90s again, but a cool afternoon breeze will make it all worthwhile coming.